Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Well T from CZT Pilar Pulido. Fingers crossed that I have that at least close. All right, I had to think about it for a minute. All right, so this is a neat tangle and it, it's inspired two ways. Take a look at in the description section of the video. Uh, and that to find that, if you find my name, uh, like below the title of the video is my name, and then to the right of that should be a little down arrow, down arrow if you're using the app. Uh, and that takes you to the description section. Uh, in, it's a little bit easier to find on like a desktop computer, but you'll find it. If you have trouble, let me know. Because, uh, you know, the minute that I, I started explaining, um, because I did have a question, and thank you to the person that uh, gave me the question, uh, then I make sure to at least let you know where to find that. So look at that, that link, because in there is uh, the story behind the tangle. And, and and then you can see the picture of the the first inspiration. And then she says as she, as she was doing it, she realized that this is like the Zentangle original tangle well. So she attributes that as as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, I, I'm thinking, and, we, um, and I think I've seen some other people that may have done this. And I'm starting with an orb. This is a grid based on orbs, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna we'll do nine orbs here, and I'll just start doing that. Um, and I like to start in the center. It gives me a little bit more, you know, a of a fingers crossed that I'll get uh, get it in the center and make it nice. Nice and even. We'll see. And, you know, it, it, in the end, it doesn't matter either. This is kind of a forgiving tangle. All right. Um, I've seen some other, I was, I was starting to say, I, I've seen some other CZTs that have done uh, some, like, on a, a, a series of well tangles. I might just do a marathon or something. Because <laughs> there, are, there are a number of them. And, uh, and that would be really fun. If you think that that would be fun, let me know and um, in the comments. And, and I'll have to, I, I'm thinking maybe maybe I'll do a, a, an extended Tough Tangle Tuesday or, or I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. All right. So once you have your orb grid down, then, see, and this, it, it actually, I mean, it has a combination of, of steps that are like something else. All right. Uh, actually, I, I did neglect one thing. And and I at first I wasn't going to do this. And then I decided, yeah, it, it is kind of helpful. If you want to put a dot in this, so look at each four and put a dot in the center, like so. So again, looking at a grouping of four, put a dot in the center. You know, that, you know, the, the, the grouping of four is going to move. I found it, it was, it was a bit helpful and, and you're going to run right over it anyway. So it's fine. I try to avoid, uh, things because it's not, uh, Tangle-esque of, you know, having a, a grid that you have to erase later. That's, you know, that's kind of not goes, uh, it's not in the definition of a tangle. So I avoid things like that, but I have done where I put dots in just as a marker to help. And this is actually helpful because, um, the next step is similar to Huggins, if you have done that, where we're going to do a big uh, C curved line shape, but we want to have it be in the middle because we're going to have these, we're going to have, come, have one come this way and have one come this way, and we want them to touch. So defining, okay, here's where that middle is, and that way you can just run right over it, come down. I use the takeoff and land concept. And so, oh, let me also back up for a moment. So Pick the, the first, the first four. We're just going to focus on those for right now. Okay. So I did the bottom set first, and then here, let me explain the takeoff and land. If you don't know, so I'm going to trace over this orb a little bit. That's my my runway, if you will, and I'm taking off from that orb. Or if you're a sci-fi fan like I am, you know you're slingshotting off of this planet here, <laughs> and uh, and you know we're going out into orbit. We're going to touch this path. And then come down and land on this orb. And it really, really helps when we do that. It, it, uh, continuity is the word that I have. It, it, it gives a nice flow. Um, you can really tell the difference when somebody just goes from, you know, from here to here. It, it's just totally different. So, 
All right. So doing it this direction here, we're going to alternate. So uh, if you have a bigger grid, oh, uh, let's see. Then I would, so I would do these four. So you, you're, and then all, we're all just we're always moving over, say one, one row of dots. So this four, we're not going to do it this direction. If you had, if I had another set, I would do this same direction here. So if I had like four dots, just to give you an idea. Um, okay. So but then going down. Same thing. We're not going to do it here, but we are going to do it here. And a lot of times I find it way easier to do these, um, to do the shapes that are going in the same direction and just get them all done at one time. Same thing here, working up to the middle using the takeoff and land. I do like to, well, not just I, it is kind of a tangly thing, to move your tile so that way it's comfortable. This is a kind of a high arch so it's not exactly in my hand motion but it's a little bit more comfortable than if I was you know doing it like this all right so if you have a larger grid like I said it, it should kind of look like a checkerboard especially if you focus on like where you know these centers are so for now for the other ones we're gonna turn your tile and we're gonna do the same thing all over again so turning the tile well actually I'm gonna turn it this way and I actually found it easier uh, just to make sure that I was on track to do this side first that's already connected to something because what I'm looking for is this neat um, fan shape. And that's one of the shapes when we do well. Well is such a neat tangle. And I, I do believe I have a video on that. Um, and there's so many ways you can finish that one off. Know, without even without even going to any of the other inceptions of well but so this is what I look for is is this fan shape and so when I come to here I'm gonna do the same thing just because it gives me peace of mind that's like okay all right there's the fan. okay I know I've got it right here I'm doing it the right direction like so and still do the takeoff and land and then this one, you're just going the opposite direction. So it's like, I'll do the one that has a, you know, it kind of grounds me a little bit. And then the other one's like, okay, then I know. The other one's going the opposite direction. All right. So this is one of the shapes that takes place, that, that can happen on well when, when you stop at a certain point. And I, I, I do believe I point that out in, in the video. And it's, it is, it's, like I said, it's just a really, really neat tangle. Um, it is a grid, it's a grid-based tangle. And then the orbs are in the center of each grid. So it, it's just really, really neat. Have to check it out. All right. From here, this is another part of well where we would complete the seed. So from here, right where this tucks up in this corner here, So, and I'm going to end, end in the middle, and it's just a little curve line like that. And I'm trying not to do what I just did there with that. Going over. I want to trace just barely on that, but not necessarily go over like I did. But you know what? In the end, as we all know, it'll all be okay. All right. And then, uh, of course, I am positioning my tile so that way it's comfortable and my pen jumped. Yeah, yeah, it's the pen. Pen did it. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to do the same thing because I, I, I um, when I did the step out, I was like, I was having trouble seeing what to do next. So I'm like, well, if I'm having trouble seeing, I'm going to split these up. So let's see, what did I do here? It, you know, <laughs> so here's what's neat about this as I, if I, as I interrupt myself. It's neat that in the end, you, it's like, oh, this is how it starts. That's amazing. I wouldn't have thought that. And so that's what's kind of neat. And that's why I think my eyeballs are like, well, wait a minute, where am I? Where am I? Okay, so I did this one. So now you have this neat flower shape. And so we'll do the same thing. We're just gonna, we'll just keep going with the whole idea of, uh, of diagonal or uh, thinking of it checkerboard if you have a larger, um, a larger grid. You know, so once you get one that kind of goes in the middle, then just aim all the other ones there and you're good to go. Okay, then same idea we're going to do on these. And of course you can, you know, you can do whatever order 
you are comfortable with. I just share <laughs> my idiosyncrasies because it's all I got. Just me, me, me and my idiosyncrasies. <laughs> okay, now I have a song in my head. I wish I was a, uh, well, I'd say a better singer. I, I, I could sing, okay, I'm just not courageous in that. I'd rather play an instrument and hide behind it. Um, but I do have things that just run through my head. <sighs> me and my idiosyncrasies is now running in my head as me and my shadow. You're welcome. <laughs> now, now you're writing a song in your head. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So this is neat just as it is, right? Next, uh, next and last step. And I, on my step out, because I wanted to split some of the things up, I, um, a lot of times I like to reserve that last box for like a finished look. And this one, I, I, just because I didn't, I didn't want to also go into a, a whole nother row. I'm like, ah, oh, it's okay. We can we can just do red on that last last box. It's all right. So the last box, in the center of these these X's, we're gonna just do a full C shape. And so this one you can have fun, you know, however high or, you know, high above, say these orbs you want to go. That is entirely up to you, of course. And for those that don't know, I'm referencing seed shapes, and I haven't explained. So as you can see. And this, we're just tucking it right in here, so I'm going to trace a little bit. But it's a curve line going one direction, curve line going the other direction. Here, we had one half of it already done in the big curve line. We were just completing the other half. And let's see. So I'm going to just do the one direction first. And we'll say we're, we're doing outside, middle, outside, and... And, oh, no, <laughs> I was like, and here too? No, because here, outside, I caught myself. And if it would have happened, it would have been no big deal. Although you can kind of see, um, oh yeah, here's a way to avoid that happening. So all of these seed shapes are kind of converging in the center where if I had done it this way, it wouldn't, it would have been on an orb. So that is a good way to catch it. Okay. There's always something like that in, in, uh, in Zentangle where we can find to, um, to just be able to, like I said, catch those, those little things that, Oh, oh we don't want to go there. That's not, that's not the way it is. Okay. And then that's it. And then it is just up to you to decorate. Some of the neat things that I saw, and I'm going to go ahead and do that on here, is do a little aura in these sections and fill that in. Sometimes I think that just, it just looks neat. It, it finishes it off. And if you aura also the contour, that's nice gives it a little extra flair and then on top of it when we do that if there was something that maybe you weren't too happy with um this is all it's almost like for me the the line dot dot which hmm, i don't know if i will do that in here or not but there are some effects like this that helped to um, i don't know i guess they maybe detract the eyeball so that way you don't see every little thing. Yeah, actually after a while you don't see every little thing that, that and, and remember all of the little areas that, oh, I didn't like this, oh, I didn't like that. And uh, until you get, well, I don't know, you can get used to trying to uh, just not worry about it. Um, but, you know, we see them, we know. And is that, am I missing? Do, 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 do. Oh, right here. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, like I said, it, it's just something that finishes it off nicely. You can do these even on a bigger scale, and I've done that where, you know, put just like lines in them or orbs or something like that. This one I thought kind of looked neat, having it be filled in. Now, another thought, oh, and uh, as, I'm, as I'm thinking on that, 
do take a look at the for, the for more inspiration link so you can see some of the neat ideas that uh, Pilar had and, and her samples on her blog. And, and actually, let's see, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll have it, I'll, I'll put both links in there just so it's easy. Um, I'll put the link to Tangle Patterns and then also to her blog. Um, and yeah, because it's just nice to see, uh, you know, what she has done with it. And that gives you ideas on how you might want to play with it. Adding different things on the inside, like and, and these could all be filled in. It doesn't have to look like that. Um, and you know, I, I don't, I don't see that she. I, I just have to since I mentioned it. Um, well, although these share, oh no, but I could do this. Let's do this. My favorite thing, right? Yeah, and if I'm picturing, you know, this is the center. And I'm just going to put my line dot dots on those ones. Because the other ones are shared. I don't know what I'll do with that yet. But what I like about this, it's the same thing where, um, and we use this on flux. And that was, that was I think, I had two like kind of just memorable experiences with this line dot dot. One, the tangle is called Divine. And that might have been the first time that I was like, oh my gosh, this is just magic. Because I had trouble making a shape. And then after I added this line dot dot, it was like, oh, <laughs> just, it, was, it was like a miracle. It, it all of a sudden, it looked artsy. It looked like a professional had drawn it. And I was like, who did that? That's amazing. <laughs> oh, you know, and here's what I'm going to do on this one. Let's just do some shading. Could also, well, I've done this already. You could, um, with the pen, just draw some little straight lines in between. I might still do that. Because you could, you know, do this to all of the sections and, uh, you know, and shade all. Oops, I forgot one. this you know overall you could do a whole the whole center which might end up happening anyway but also it is kind of fun let's see if we can make it separate and have a neat effect versus doing the whole thing that's kind of a cool idea oops I didn't put anything in there but I have enough on the tortillon and what I like to do with these seeds like this is just bring it out say about a third on either side that way you're leaving kind of a third in the middle and that creates that shiny look. Personally, I, I don't, I like to avoid having um, like a straight line. So as you can see some of them, you know, they're, they're just odd shaped and I like that personally. That is just me. And then if it's too wild, that went a little crazy, but that's okay. And let's see, lost my thingy. There we are. Oh, see, that looks nice. It does, it does. And then, let's see. Hmm. Well, let's, um, okay. I, t I talked me into it. Let's do, let's fill these in. Because I have this one that's a little ugh, shaped, or, you know, because I went over it. And that's something else that I look at is, especially when it comes to decorating, is, well, where, who needs, who needs fixing? First, and then we go from there. And this, I'm going to leave a little bit of shine in there with the pen, just leaving it a little orb open. And I'll do that a little bit bigger than I think, so that way I can always I can always make it smaller. And then this also saves me from uh, I don't have to use the gel pen on that. You still can if, you, if like this. This is a um, a white uh, Zentangle Bijou tile, which it's really it's a little bit off white. So the the stark white of the white gel pen, it might have a little bit of an effect, but it you know it's it's like ah, this works, it's good, save the gel pen for other things, but you could also go back and add it in if you want to have that little bit more starkness 
Now, I have done two where on, on kind of the opposite side of the of the shine, I'll leave a little sliver. I, I've not been as, I need to practice, play with that a little bit more. Um, I've not been as successful with that. I tried it once and I was like, wow, that's amazing looking. But it also depends on the size of the little shine. And what's nice about this is, yeah, if you end up not liking it, you just cover over it with the black pen. And it's all good. Oh, look at how neat that looks. All right. So, oh, and it looks like, I say, it almost looks like it's a little bit blurry, and it might be. Let's let's fix that really quick. This is this is not your eyes. This is me. Ah, it was a smidge out. I don't know why. I didn't even touch it. All right. So, neat tangle. It, it has a little bit of concentration, but, um, but it's really, really neat. So with that, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would love to have a thumbs up, um, or, you know, or a like, whichever way it, it lists it there on, uh, on your device. Uh, feel free to share it. And if you liked it enough to see more, I would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Uh, subscribing to the channel is, of course, free. Also in the description section, besides uh, my, my version of the step out, um, the for more inspiration, Below that, I have ways to connect with me. So if you enjoy my goofy style and you think, oh, if, if you've never taken an online class, I would love to have you join us. Um, but if you've taken some other ones and, and you've never uh, joined uh, a bunch of tangle addicts <laughs> and want to have fun tangling, we would love to have you. One cannot have too many uh, tangle friends. We'd love to have you, have you join us. Join the family. All right, and um, I think that's it. <laughs> lost my, lost my, lost my head with that. Yeah. So no, I do classes weekly. So the the um, the information is on my website, or if you have trouble finding it, you can always leave something in the comments or uh, through my site. There's ways to connect with me. So would love to tangle with you live. And with that, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.